Today I want to talk about loose leaf tea versus tea from a bag, in particular chamomile. Is loose leaf tea really worth the cost, or should you go to your grocery store, buy a pack of 10 for 2 to 3 bucks? Well, today I'm going to cut open a bag, we're going to take a closer look, and I'm going to brew both types of teas and we'll taste them side by side. Welcome to Who's Got the Tea, where we explore all things tea. My name is Shayna Hu, and I am a humble tea enthusiast, exploring teas and taking you with me. So before we dive into our chamomile, what is chamomile? So chamomile is actually a flower, so yeah. We're drinking flower water, but I'm okay with that. It looks similar to a daisy, but in my opinion, once it's dried, it looks like a dandelion. So chamomile is actually one of the top recommended teas to promote sleep. Fun fact, ancient Egyptians used to use it as a sedative. So personally for me, I will use chamomile once I've had a really big plate of food, I'm just very full, I'm very uncomfortable, and I want to help in that digestion. I'll get a cup of chamomile and a hint of honey, and that's about it for me. But enough of my chattering, let's get to our teas. The first tea we'll be looking at is the loose leaf form of the chamomile. This digestive blend by spices and teas consisted of chamomile, fennel, licorice, and peppermint. But I just took out the fennel, licorice, and peppermint. So this is just the chamomile. I'll bring it closer to you guys. As you can see, there are whole mini flowers there. You can see the stem, you can see the petals, you can see basically everything. How crazy! We're drinking little daisies. What? Next up, we have chamomile herbal tea in a tea bag. Brand is Rituals, and we're just gonna cut it open and take a look inside. Wow guys, I have actually never cut open a tea bag of chamomile before. I did not know it looked like this. It's just, I don't know, it just looks like the grains or the petals like shredded. It doesn't look like there's any part of the flower part in here. How odd. It doesn't resemble the flower. Ah. In a side-by-side -side comparison, you can see the difference between the loose leaf chamomile versus the milled chamomile from the tea bag. To brew our teas, I used a French press for the loose leaf chamomile, and I used a tea strainer for the milled chamomile. All right, so we made our tea. We've added a little bit of honey. All that's left to do is taste. So this is our tea bag. It's actually darker than the loose leaf and there's more sediment in it and that could just be that my filter didn't catch everything. So let's taste. So it's very florally, but the floral flavor does not get to my palate until after I've started swishing it around my tongue and starting to swallow. It's not overpowering in flavor it's not oversparingly sweet, and I don't taste any notes of apple. Let's go on to our next one. So I'm actually getting a lot more flavors from this tea. It is floral, but the floral flavor lasts a lot longer. It lasts throughout the entire time that you're drinking it. I still don't taste any notes of apple, but it's very calming, it's very soothing, and overall, I think in quality and appearance and flavor, that the loose leaf tea definitely gives me a lot more 
than the tea bag. So there are a couple things that I think are worth mentioning. The first thing is that when I took the chamomile out of the bag, the bag consisted of fennel, licorice, and peppermint as well. So yeah, it's possible that the chamomile could have absorbed some of those other flavor profiles. And so when I went to make the tea, I could taste some of those flavors. I also want to say that during tea leaf collection, the high grade first are picked out and they're going to be sold as loose leaf. Whatever is left over, that's what gets packaged and sent as tea bags to the grocery store. So when you go to the grocery store and you buy a pack of 10 tea bags, you're not going to get as high as a quality tea as if you were to get loose leaf tea. So that's why I think that my chamomile that was loose leaf was still going to give me a bolder flavor than that of the tea bag. Thanks for watching. This is actually my first YouTube video ever. To commemorate the occasion, I left some bloopers at the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed this process as much as I did. Until next time though, see you soon.